So here I am, Azman Brownlee from Sri Lanka. A massive fan of all the late night talk shows the United States of America has spewed out. You know, I figured if all the Jimmy's, Stephen, Trevor, Lily, and of course Hassan could do it, maybe there's room for Asia to partake as well. So welcome to last week tonight, the Asian Corona edition. Hashtag monologue. The world has gone to shit. All day and all night, we hear news about what COVID-19 is doing to the world. And recently, there's been talk about a pre-COVID-19 and a post-COVID-19. That got me thinking, what the f*** is the difference? Other than, of course, the massive need for masks and ventilators. Take my country, for example, Sri Lanka. Long history. Apparently, even Ptolemy noticed us. But the past is gone and the stories of this majestic past have become mere stories. My focus is on the present and the future. This little island sitting in that uh, sweet spot on the Indian Ocean, right below the tip of the Indian Peninsula, has attracted so much attention that everybody in the world seems to want a piece of us. And last year, 2019, where the 19 in COVID-19 comes from, we were selected both by Lonely Planet and CNN as one of the best places to visit in the entire world. Yeah, that's right, from the entire planet. And when I heard this news, my first reaction was like, what? I mean, I felt happy. But my reaction was like, what the f**k? My head was telling me that if we are the most desirable tourist destination, we must be one hell of a country. So, I'm thinking now, we're the best, right? You know what makes us the best? We're very generous. We are a very kind people. We welcome any strange army that comes into the country with open arms. That's how the Portuguese got here. And then the Dutch. And then the prince. You know, the Queen and her Royal Navy. Well, her dad before. They came, they conquered, and they developed. Developed, huh? And they lived left us with a lot of de-estates, deforested land, a lot of pine trees for some reason, and even a railway track that we have completely dependent on, but done nothing to update. More recently, even I think uh, our neighbor India, even Americans have sent members of their security apparatus to this country. We also boast a lot about how Lee Kuan Yew the transformational and visionary leader of modern Singapore, at one point in time, wanted to be like us. He changed his mind very fast. But if he wanted to follow us, why the hell is Singapore more famous and developed than us today? I ask myself all the time. Most importantly, I'm forced to ask this every single time I have to do an assignment. I've actually researched Singapore so much to the point that I hate Singapore now. No, scratch that. No, I just hate assignments. Anyway, another fun fact about Sri Lanka, garbage. You know, like shit. We have a lot of shit. All kinds of shit. Plastic shit, non-plastic shit, wet shit, dry shit, metallic shit, natural shit, human shit, animal shit, bird shit, lot of crow shit. We even import shit. Yeah, we do. Uh, mostly, I think, medical shit. That's the tangible kind of shit, too. We also have a lot of intangible shit. Now, you must be thinking, whoa, 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 what the hell is intangible shit? That's shit that comes out of the mouths of a lot of public speakers here in this country. Just, you should watch the 10 o'clock news. There's so much shit in this country that you can't take a walk five kilometers in Colombo without seeing a shit-stained, deep, dark, black-colored water outlet that falls to the sea right through the west coast. So much shit. More importantly, we love plastic as well. There's this deep connection we have with plastic. We have uh, plastic bottles, plastic cups, plastic spoons, plastic plates, plastic packets, you name it. And we got it in plastic. Our relationship with plastic can be compared to how we use condoms. I'm no expert other than having watched those few uh, Ranveer Singh advertisements before he got hitched with Deepika that was. And then I think even he stopped doing those ads, must have given up using condoms. Point is, we buy plastic, we use it, and then we dump it. And then we buy again. 
We don't recycle plastic in this country and we hate reusing. The three R's can go to hell because why in God's name should we reuse, reduce and recycle when we could just get new plastic and polythene containers for every new item we buy? Why? Why would we? Why? 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 And before I forget, we also have a lot of taxis, two wheelers, three wheelers, four wheelers, even six wheelers do that job sometimes. One of the most popular jobs in Sri Lanka is driving. There are other issues that cause this. And yet, I must say that as a people, we are so f***ing fond of driving. We just need to look at the numbers of vehicles that are getting sold. Recently, we have also started to take a massive liking to delivery. Lots of delivering going on. Yeah, I don't want to say what. And you must be wondering, is there no public transport? How dare you think that? Of course we do. And the music. If you are a potential tourist, you have to come here just to check out the music. I'm telling you, it'll shock you. It'll literally even rock you. Let me tell you this. Sri Lanka has eight World Heritage Sites. Yes, you heard me right. That is exactly one more than Egypt has. But if you want to know about them, you've got to speak to some real Sri Lankans. Appi at the Sri Lanki janata. That time. I wouldn't know where to find them, but recently there have been so much buzz of those who claim they're real Sri Lankan. But checking the United Nations website and the page on World Heritage Sites will probably be easier. Lots to learn there. And trees. You know, we are really good at cutting and chopping off our trees and forests and the natural vegetation. Not very different from how the Amazon is getting chopped right, left and center these days. Thanks to one crazy president you have, Brazil. I feel you, my fellow brothers and sisters from Brazil. You should know, we have our own Amazon here. Singha Raja. It's like Amazon's little sister. It's one of the most dense and diverse rainforests in the world. And also one of those world heritage sites I was talking about. And we share your troubles. Other than deforestation, we, have, we also have fires. I don't know how and why, but we do. In fact, a little research into comparing our current forest cover to when the British left makes you want to either kill those responsible or shoot yourself for letting all this happen or really want to go back in time and change history but no that's out of the question isn't it if there's one thing we cannot do that's going back in time we can't reverse the world wars we can't reverse global warming we can't reverse corona and we definitely can't reverse our deforestation problem but this one thing we can reverse Thanos snaps. And then we have suicides, uh, education and energy and water problems. But let me stop right there. You must be tired now. There's, there's no point going over all of these issues of the present. Focus, Asman. Focus. 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 Let's talk about post-COVID-19. Whatever the f*** that means. The future. Because a big portion of my social media news feed these days is filled with posts about how people are waiting to get out of their homes and start breathing fresh air. Yeah, in the AC at office. It's crazy. Look, I can't change the world. You can't change the world. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, together we can. Maybe. And my experience as a change specialist has taught me that change will only come if one wants to change. Until then, until you would want to change, until then, no amount of motivational speeches or trainings or sweet talking or kissing or cuddling or whatever couples do nowadays to convince each other can create impactful, decisive change. You have to want to change. I'm just going to do the only thing that I can do. At this point, you know, as usual, suggest a few things. And you know my policy. Take it or leave it. Firstly, give a shit, my friends. Give a shit. Caring and empathy is critical. Let me tell you this. We are here because a long time ago, there were people who gave a shit. They cared beyond the boundaries of their family. They cared about the society. They cared about their community. They cared about the planet the animals, the trees, 
and there was no dramatic post giving a shit display or post or social media post of how much they cared take names like martin luther king junior mohammed ali mahatma gandhi even kannangars louis edmund blaze lakshman kadrigam even sura saradiya a very own version of robin hood or even consider your forefathers i'm sure all of us have a great grandmother grandfather who cared deeply about the overall society and as a result we are here today enjoying the perks of the land fine if that doesn't work take the marvel universe that we seem to just love so much why did steve rogers become captain america and go to fight germany why did tony stark go to titan to fight thanos because they were giving a shit and why is black widow apparently going to russia come november because this thing gives a shit which is apparently why they postponed the release of all of their movies and fired more than 100000 people because they care about us so very much the point is that i feel like we definitely could give a bigger shit about life about love and about the planet so time to care people trust me it will only do you and me and us good next very importantly we have to stop using plastic in fact we need to ban it but then the moment i say ban plastic everybody gets worked up and you know how the hell are we going to ban plastic it's impossible how can we live without plastic oh my god you know so much bile so many questions come up okay sure i feel you but can we maybe ban plastic in 2022 23 24 okay 25 we have to start reducing the use of plastic and polythene based products immediately it's high time as you can and and you can spread this message in the supermarket at the grocery store wherever you go reach out to another human being and promote reduced use of plastic you'll even make new friends i have i know because my thinking is if we refuse the plastic or the polythene bag that we get in time we will not be offered the option at all consider the situation where your girlfriend dumped you ah i feel you i know how many times are you going to keep trying to get her back you hear a no enough times you are definitely going to get to a point where you are like fuck you i'm done do that do that to plastic not your girlfriend but to plastic hashtag #ban plastic sri lanka yes ban plastic sri lanka immediately now and finally believe in yourself the power you have yes you the power of one is immense i've seen it with my own eyes but it has to be harnessed it always starts with one person and look now don't get me wrong i'm not talking about political change or revolutionary impact no 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 that's all nonsense and you know what my friends tell me nobody got the time for that bro that's what my friends tell me but post covid 19 whatever that is imagine a way of life where you harness one little power you have one little positive thing that you are truly genuinely passionate about it might seem that nobody else cares about it. it might feel like the effort that it takes might not even be worth it it might be easier to fucking binge watch game of thrones than spend time on your ideas and who am i to argue white walkers dragons and cousins fucking each other who would want to miss that crazy shit my point is breaking bad heisenberg say my name imagine if vince gilligan didn't harness the power of the pen and didn't write the story of walter white we wouldn't have the best television show on earth okay take stanley possibly the greatest artist in contemporary comics to ever walk the earth the entire marvel and x men universe was built on the back of his creativity and that's just one man who had the courage to believe in his power the power of drawing and storytelling and that was at a time when dc superman and batman were ruling the comic world they were kicking ass did it discourage no it didn't if anything you know what he decided to do he gave a teenager spider like powers and today the entire world love spider man don't we so let me reiterate 
there is no need to change the world but you can be a positive impact to your community your circle of influence and we all have that the first step toward that is faith believing in yourself believing that you can and harnessing that unique positive idea or skill or talent or passion or project or design or whatever you want to call it connect to it and work on it and go beyond that life my friend will be well worth having lived and of course do miss game of thrones it's pretty cool why send me your crazy combo salute and finally while being grateful to all of those around the world committed to controlling this pandemic you must be tired that's the end of this long monologue i must thank john stewart dave shapel and john oliver now those guys were the real deal big fan and thank you for all that entertainment i'll finish with this remember stan lee said that the person who helps others simply because it should or must be done or because it is the right thing to be done is indeed without a doubt a real superhero so go be a superhero good luck ladies gentlemen brothers sisters all of you i'll see you on the other side of the fence or even soon stay safe god bless